Agastya Foundation started in 1999 primarily to teach uh, village children um, which, who are disadvantaged and they don't have the kind of facilities which I many rich schools have and, and, and rich areas of the country have. So what we are doing is uh, we are creating, uh, we are assimilating, sort of getting different technologies and pedagogies and curriculum from different parts of the world. We are putting it together and, uh, and creating models, uh, educational models, and putting it on mobile labs and sending it to different parts of the country, in rural, primarily in the rural uh, areas, and uh, uh, facilitating hands-on education. This will help us in three ways. One is uh, uh, India's educational uh, scenario has, has a lot of gaps to be addressed because there are there's a, there's a strong lack of hands-on education. So we need to bring in uh, the hands-on aspects from different parts of the world. And uh, so all so when the consortium is formed, Agastya being the leader, we framed three research questions. One research question is based on the digital technology. Uh, second is around STEM learning. Third is around pedagogy and methodology. So we frame this question uh, to uh, in a common flat platform with all the members. So what we will primarily do is we will send out this research questions to we are, uh, to individual members and ask them to check it up uh, and form their teams and tell us tell the consortium uh, that what can be done around this research questions to teach a new learner. The primary idea is to enable a child to form his or her own network of learning across the globe uh, using non-formal non formal backgrounds. Uh, so what we are trying to do is, based on these three research questions, and these individual consortium members will come out with uh, project modules which can be tested across the consortium uh, members and, and, and the results can be exchanged and say that, okay, this is working out okay. This is not working that well, maybe a modification is required. So now we are at a stage where we are, we are exchanging all our uh, uh, notes and, and we are uh, testing it out. We are currently operating in six states. Agastya is currently in six states. Agastya's reach is two million children. Current, current reach of Agastya is two million children. So, so the sample group we are going to choose, uh, say maybe 100, 150 children, uh, which can be distributed dispersed across uh, in, in different regions of India. So we will choose different modules and uh, uh, we will put this Reach the World module to test there. On the other hand, Agastya is developing some animation software uh, on its own, uh, elaborating various science concepts, which will be given back to the consortium members to test in their premises. So there'll be a lot of exchanges going on this coming few months. That's what we are uh, visualizing. So uh, primarily, this is a three-year project, and a uh, lot of exchanges being happening. And we are we are uh, we are uh, thinking that in coming year, this year will be really dynamic, uh, and quite a bit of exchange will happen. And the new new members have joined, so we need to bring them up to speed. And once all of us are in speed, and uh, we will uh, exchange quite a bit of ideas, and we are also going to do a lot of site visits, and we will travel across and go to other sites. And uh, that will take us to, uh, we, are, we are envisioning a, a beautiful document uh, for the policymakers to have, saying that this is our experience over three years. This is how we learned out of digital technology, STEM learning, and exchanging of uh, all these pedagogical ideas, so that um, something concrete will come out of this, uh, which can affect the policies of uh, India and across the globe. We have um, Longwood University in West Virginia. Uh, they said they are they are in this conference also. They said uh, they are going to come out uh, with some scratch uh, software modules for Agastya to test in, among our children. What is happening in village village India is that um, it's it lacked a lot of opportunities. See, we have brilliant children and brilliant teachers, and and language ability, especially English language ability, is not that bad. Uh, you know, uh, with India's history. So if we take this uh, out there and we test it and show them this, these are the kind of opportunities they have across the world waiting for them, this, this will generate a lot of interest in STEM among, among the children. And they can, because India is currently facing a big challenge uh, uh, in, in, in the field of science. Maybe that's a global phenomenon. And, and across the globe, we can, if we can, uh, say, uh, create curiosity in a child using these 
these these methods and and uh, invite her or them to you know uh, to be in the field of science and and that'll be a very progressive thing to do so that's why we are very excited to work in this group of uh, new learner consortium because this is primarily about the, the the core role and objective of the consortium is to excite and ignite this the spirit of this new learner uh, and to do a lot of interesting things in STEM. So that, that that's goes well along with our mission and vision of Agustia. <laughs>